What's up, Aquarius? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So let's see what July is going to bring. Okay, so this will be for sun, moon, and rising signs. General reading, whatever comes out, comes out. But hopefully things are better. I know that in the last reading I did, um, you guys were going to have, through a few trials and tribulations. Okay, a bit of heavy energy. So let's see if that's lightened up a bit. What's going on with the sign of Aquarius, July Okay. All right, guys. So the energy that we have here is the Six of Cups. So there could be children in your life that are very important this month. Or it could be a sense of your past. Thinking about your past. Looking back at your past. Maybe your past is coming back into your life. And the Death card in the reverse. Okay, so maybe we're revisiting something from the past here. With the Temperance card in the reverse, it's not something that your uh, heart and soul is necessarily at ease with. But let's see how things are going to play out here before we make any sort of assumptions. Now, the first card that we have for the past, we have the Nine of Wands. All right, so you guys are really standing your ground with something. Uh, you're really being resilient. There could be a lot of blood, sweat, and tears you put into something. There could be, uh, you know, a sense of you feeling like, you know, can I get past this? Can I get through this? But with the Nine of Wands, that's the level right before you hit a peak, okay? So you guys are about to get through something that could have been difficult for you. All right, we have the Sun card in the reverse. To clarify, and let's get one more card here. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. So you're really standing your ground with something, but in this case, I feel like there's an energy around you that is blocking blessings that could be coming into your life or something unexpected that comes out that either causes you or maybe another air sign or just another person around you to be really, really defensive about something, okay? With the King of Swords in the reverse, this is going to be someone that has gotten to a point where their only concern is themselves, okay? So people can get to this because they get pushed and prodded and then they kind of just, you know, they wake up one morning and they're like, I can't take it anymore. Or it could be somebody that just has a malicious intent towards somebody but you're really just trying to stand your ground through that energy and that's not an easy energy to deal with okay but you did the next card that you have is the nine of cups so with the nine of cups a sense of happiness that you're feeling satisfaction and fulfillment in some area of your life after having dealt with that tough energy all right and you have the nine of pentacles in the reverse so maybe you reconciled with someone or maybe you got into some sort of relationship okay maybe somebody came to you at a time where um you're really fed up with something and it turned out to be an unexpected blessing all right and we have the queen of pentacles in the reverse so it could be a taurus virgo or capricorn that you were dealing with all right or just you taking on this energy or someone around you but there's someone here that feels like they've put so much effort into a situation something that they should have gotten so much more in return but they didn't so at this point they're acting petty they could be really stubborn they could be annoying to be around at this point but it's because they're just they're overexerted they can't deal with it anymore so now they're kind of like lashing back even if it's in a petty way okay but i feel that you guys are strong and you do your best to turn your back on this all right and to just strengthen the relationships around you especially if there was a leo aries or sagittarius involved but there's something that you guys had to let go of here okay now the last card that we have for the past is the devil card in the reverse 
removing yourself from a toxic situation removing yourself from maybe a bad habit that you have all right you have the star card in the reverse so you're losing faith in someone or something okay but you're removing yourself from something that you didn't need and we have the ace of swords in the reverse so whatever this was that you let go of, there's just too much arguing, too much pettiness. You know, when you have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, this is going to be, for two people, for instance, let's say you're arguing with someone, you're not really listening to that person. You're hearing them, you're hearing their side of the argument, but you're just preparing your you know, side of the argument. You're not actually trying to interpret what they're saying, or maybe they weren't doing that towards you. All right, so this is something that you felt really stuck on where you're trying to figure out how do I move forward. But you have to keep in mind that with the Eight of Swords, this is really a mental card. All right, so this is when we're kind of self-sabotaging our own minds and we just stay on one topic that's not healthy for us in a sense, okay? In the present moment, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. So a sense of transition or instability that you're feeling. And you have the seven of swords so maybe someone's keeping secrets around you or maybe you're keeping the fact that you feel very unstable a secret okay for most Aquariuses you guys are very good at putting on a happy face and a smile and telling the world you're fine there's a lot that you guys try to keep in for yourselves because I feel like you guys are usually that strong pillar for other people all right now, with the Five of Swords in the reverse, there's a secret that's being kept in order to avoid problems. There's a sense of instability that's felt, but it's it's like you're not tackling what the problem is, but that's only going to happen for so long, All right? So with this Tower card, this, you know, being a major arcana in tarot, you cannot fight this. It doesn't matter what you try to keep secret or what you try to creep past or what you try to brush under the rug. It's going to blow up eventually. All right, and it could be a change for the good. It could be a change for the worse. I feel like it just has to a lot to do with their individual karma, okay? Because not every person is going to be the same. But a big change happening here, and for you guys, it could actually be a very good thing. It's just that while this change is happening, there's something that you're not over. There's something that you can't quite get past just yet. All right, so a very good thing that comes out of all of this, but maybe you're too wrapped up okay and in your head with something that you can't fully enjoy what's coming in because <laughs> you have the two of swords here so it's you know you're, you're fighting that duality where something good uh, good for you could be happening but you're not necessarily at a place where you've come to terms with what did not work in your favor <laughs> why is this two of swords here tower card all right and guys keep in mind you can't really see um the spread here but this is right at the middle all right so there's something that you're undecided about but the universe is going to decide for you if there's something that you've been putting off if there's something you've been trying to brush under the rug and just kind of ignore and hope that it goes away you're gonna have to face it okay and you have the page of pentacles in the reverse and this is going to be something where either someone stops talking to you, you stop talking to someone, or stop building on something. But this is a situation that you've tried, and you've tried, and you've tried, and you've tried, but you just haven't gotten the outcome that you necessarily wanted from this. All right? But intuitively, you knew that it was something that could have been disappointment. Okay? Or disappointing, rather. We have the moon card in the reverse. So there's going to be a clarity or sense of secrets that come out where you're telling yourself, look, I might not have victory here. And with the Six of Swords in the reverse, although there's something good coming in, you're having a hard time letting go of something that just didn't work out for you. Okay? You have the Emperor in the reverse. So someone around you, or maybe it was you, you know, being this way to yourself or to other people, but somebody was being fake and dishonest. Somebody here was wearing a mask. Okay? Maybe you were trying to tell the world that you were happy, that you were good, but you weren't. Okay? Maybe somebody here was, you know, trying to play you in a certain way. And now you're realizing that.
We have the lover's card in the reverse. So something that can cause arguments between you and someone that you're very close to or a straight up fallout. All right, and you have the page of wands in the reverse. So if you used to speak to this person in a passionate way or if you were very passionate with something that you were building with someone, or maybe this is you, you know, falling out of a job or something. It's just the same passion is not there. Maybe you're removing yourself from the equation. Maybe someone's removing themselves from the equation. With the king of wands in the reverse, either you had someone that just became too power hungry, all right? So they became abusive of the authority that they felt they had, whether it was you or them. Or maybe there's just someone here, especially for those of you where this applies relationship-wise. Maybe someone was just playing too many games, seeing other people, trying to be slick about it, and now they're getting caught. Okay, and this could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy, but anyone could take on these energies. All right, there's no cards of cheating in the in the Earth energy or in the Air energy, so you're you're always gonna see it come up, you know, as fire or as water, unfortunately, because all signs cheat. We know that. So let's see what's going on here, guys, because there's something that's being fallen out of because there's just a person that cannot be trusted here. Moving forward, the first card that we have is the King of Cups in the Reverse. So remember, <laughs> fire and water. So with the King of Cups in the Reverse, either someone who's in a position of power, just feeling very emotionally unstable, or, you know, they're trying to be a player. Whether it's you or them. And with the Temperance card in the Reverse, your soul is not at peace with this. Your soul cannot handle this. Your soul does not want this. All right, so with the Five of Wands in the Reverse... You're in a place where if you were the one doing this, you don't want to do it anymore. If somebody else is doing it to you, the will or the strength that you may have had to fight, it's it's dissipating. You don't have that anymore. Okay? King of Pentacles in the reverse, and that tells us everything. Which spectrum or which side of the spectrum do you stand on right now? Because there's somebody who's involved in all of this out of convenience, out of habit. This person is in a place where they're becoming bored. Where they stick around because there's something that they can benefit from here. So is that you towards this? Have you been putting up with something for a long time? Maybe because you don't want the world to see you as failing in the situation. Or you just don't want to come to terms with the fact that something is over. Even if your heart's not in it the same way. Or is someone doing this to you? Okay, This doesn't always have to be with love or in a relationship. This could be with a job. Do you absolutely hate your job, but there's a part of you that's scared to quit and to look for something else? But there's something that does not belong here. Life is so short and we have to make sure that we find a way to live it passionately. So if this is your attitude about whatever it is that you're dealing with, you shouldn't be so happy or you shouldn't be so caught up in complacency because that's what this is. That's complacency. Okay? Staying in something that our soul does not agree with because we're scared of the unknown. Okay. The next card, guys, that we have for the future is the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So again, some sort of imbalance that you guys have to deal with. Either you're not doing enough or maybe you're doing too much in a situation. And we have the Three of Swords. So this imbalance is going to get to you. It's going to be something that disappoints you or disappoints someone around you. All right, and we have the King of Wands in the reverse again. So somebody just has a very unstable energy here. Now, the thing is, with this falling out, all right, because the last card here is the Ace of Wands in the reverse, you have the Wheel of Fortune. There's something so amazing that's going to happen here. I just feel like most of you can't see it yet. Maybe you feel it. Maybe you know it in your heart and in your soul. But maybe you're not ready to quite rip that band-aid off. But it has to be ripped off. Okay? So let's see what this Ace of Wands in the reverse is about. Because there's something here that you're falling out of. Something that you're passionate about. Or maybe something you were thinking about getting into that you're choosing not to. You have the Queen of Wands. So it could be with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Male or female. Doesn't matter. Alright? And you have the Empress card in the reverse. So something here is ending. Maybe it's ending with the fire energy okay or just anyone that you feel has been described in this reading or maybe there's something that you have to end because you're passionate about something else elsewhere 
When I see the Queen of Wands, I think boss, leader, entrepreneur. Someone who does something in life because they're passionate about it. Not because their parents said, this is what's going to pay you well. Not because someone said, you know, this is the best route to take. But because they woke up one morning and they said, no, this is what I love. And this is what I want to do. Okay, so something good is coming from it. And you know that you have to stand your ground through the bullshit in order to get this good thing. Okay, but the fact that you didn't succeed in something or the fact that something didn't work, you're just having a hard time moving away from it. Okay, so I don't know if I told you guys this and, you know, I'm going to get some cards of advice for you, but true story. There was someone that I thought was amazing for me. This was like two years ago. Um, I thought it was a twin flame and I have never, ever fallen for someone so fast in my life. And I thought that this was the greatest thing. You know, I thought that I finally found everything that I needed. And at the time, around the time that I met this person, I became really interested in tarot. So I used to really just delve into tarot videos. I wanted to learn the art. I was fascinated by it. But this was the type of guy who he was very critical thinker. You know, if you can't prove it, if there's no science or mathematical equation behind it, and then it doesn't make sense. And I know with astrology, you know, you can prove it mathematically, but he was just against all of it. So he literally made me stop doing everything. Okay, so I stopped tarot. I stopped anything that had to do with spirituality because he was opposed to it. But I thought I loved him, you know. So one day he just up and left. No words, no goodbyes, nothing. And I was so heartbroken because it came out of nowhere. We had only had one argument, and we never spoke again. So, like, I was, my spirit was just destroyed. And what did I do? I went back to something that made me comfortable, something that comforted me, and that was tarot. So while I was doing all of that, I got to the point where I'm like, I really love this. I feel like I should start a channel. And mind you, he met me at my worst. I was broke. My bank account was negative. I was relying on my parents for everything. Once he left and once I started up tarot, it changed my life. I had my own place within four months. I had a car off the lot within six to seven months. Sometimes things that we see as super bad is the best thing that could ever happen to us. Just don't be afraid of what's on the other side of disappointment, okay? So let's see what the advice is for you guys. I feel like I told you guys that story, you know, but for anybody who's new... That's why, you know, that's a good story that I use just to show you that a pivot could be good in life. All right. So there's some sort of manipulation happening here that has to go, that you have to let go of. All right. A difficult decision that you guys have to make. All right. So there's going to be a sense of loss that you feel. But what's most important here is just that with whatever is dropped, not only are you going to be much more stable, Okay, but make sure that you're not focusing on the cups that were spilled here. Make sure you're focusing on what's still in hand, what you still have going for you. Okay, this is who you are. Whether you're male or female, you're a king or queen of your dynasty. All right, so you really need to take this approach where you're thinking very logically and you get that sense of confidence where it's like, fuck that. Why was I dealing with that? Why was I allowing this in my life if it wasn't serving me? So you're cutting out anything that was detrimental to you, okay? This is a queen that I absolutely love. I love how she handles things, you know? While the other queens are kind of like, oh, well, let's, let's listen to the emotions or, you know, let's think about this practically or, you know, what can we do to fix it? You know, because I was so passionate about that. She just comes in and she just, she literally just takes her sword and cuts it out. She's like, no, nope, you guys are thinking too much. This is bullshit. Cut it out. Let's go. So, guys, that's what you need. All right. There's been something that has been pushing your buttons and pushing your buttons and pushing your buttons. And it is not serving you. Okay. And I know that with some things, it's very hard to just kind of flip a switch on it and walk away. But at least, you know, you have to. Okay, now you have to put that into motion. All right, it's going to have that snowball effect. 
It doesn't have to be something that you do overnight, which, you know, for some of you, if you're able to do that, I would suggest it in this case because this just seems very troubling. But if it's something that you can't remove yourself from just like that, then do it little by little. Okay, that's kind of my thing. Sometimes I can't just cut a person off or cut something out. So I'll slowly start saying no to certain invitations. I'll slowly just back away from things, you know, instead of showing up four times a month, I'll show up maybe once a month, you know, just until slowly everything just fizzles out and dissipates, okay? So take the approach that you need to, because I know with everyone's situation, it's going to be different, but don't forget how freaking amazing you are, all right? Let it go, let it go, let it go, okay? And I say this so strongly because, you know, when I started this channel, before I knew that I was an Aquarius rising, I always felt like there's just something that I'm not understanding about Aquarians. There's just a disconnect that I feel here because I felt like there was an understanding I had with most signs, you know, and I was still learning a lot about astrology and all of that. But from what I've learned about you guys and just learning it in my chart and seeing how it applies to me, you guys are so strong and so powerful and sometimes you don't get enough credit for that. Okay, you might think that you're weak at certain times because maybe someone's kind of dragged your name through the mud or they've dragged you through the mud for a while. Okay, but just the fact that you're able to get through something like that and still be standing and show up to work and have a smile on your face, even if that means going home and crying when nobody's watching, that's powerful. Okay, when we are really hurt, it doesn't mean that we're weak. It means that we have the capacity to love. We have the capacity to take a chance on something. And if it doesn't work out, you can't always beat yourself up for it. Sure, you can look at it and say, you know, what did I do wrong in this? But when you're with a particular energy or when a person does something that's really wrong to you, always remind yourself that the way a person treats you is a way that they themselves feel within them. I used to be so upset and hurt when people used to send me nasty comments on YouTube, okay? Or just in general, you know, because I've, I've been on social media platforms for years. But I got to the point where I started to understand if somebody is going to go and say something nasty to someone that they don't truly know, that says more about them than it does about the person they're speaking to. And I got to the point where when someone would say something terrible to me on the internet, I would quickly, just to myself, I wouldn't say anything to them. Only one person I said something to, but I would pull quick cards, right? I put three cards, and they're going through a betrayal. They're going through something very, you know, traumatizing. I have never had someone treat me poorly that hasn't been going through hell. If someone is treating you like crap and you feel like you don't deserve it, although I know it takes two to tango, if someone is treating you like shit, there has to be more of an underlying issue, okay? It does take two to tangle, you know. I know that we do things to piss people off. They do things to piss us off. That's life. But what attracted you to each other in the first place, okay? You have to be very careful with where you're at when you're meeting new friends. That's why me, if I'm not in a good place, I won't go out to certain meetings. I won't go out to meet people and their, you know, other friends that they want to introduce me to. I won't. I'm like, because my energy is shitty right now. So anybody that is, you know, tries to get attached to me in some sort of way or wants to be my friend or wants to hang out, I know that there's going to be something wrong with them too because I don't like where I'm at. So I lift myself up and I empower myself before going out. And then those people that I meet when I'm at a good place where I'm feeling really good, those are the friendships that turn into lifetime friendships. Okay, so whatever this is, you guys got to shake this off. You guys got to get out of this funk, all right? You're too powerful for this. All right, guys. My soul feels at ease. I feel like I said what I had to say. But yeah, you guys, you know what you need to do here, all right? So take back your power. You guys are awesome people, all right? Never forget that. 
So guys, I love you so much. You know I do. So for those of you that would like a personal rating, you can go ahead um, and look at the description of any of my tarot videos. You'll always find all my links there. For iPhone users, I do have an app called Instant Go as well where you can text me a question or you can call me. But I will say that with the calls on Instant Go, that's my last priority, okay? I deal with um, people that buy off my page first and then I will do... Uh, YouTube next and then I'll go to instant go that's kind of like a third-party thing so if you have a question I'll answer it very quickly you know I usually get it out within 24 hours but give me an extra day you know just in case but I'm always here guys okay just give me time but I respond to every single person and for uh, the readings guys on my website the wait time right now is about two weeks all right so if you have something really urgent where you know on the 14th day you're going to go nuts if you don't have it in your inbox, then please just get the emergency reading, okay? But I always ask people when you guys get a reading, just let it go, just release, and just know that I'll send it to you when the time is right, okay? When I get to it, I have never missed a reading. I have never, you know, taken anyone's money without giving something back to them, okay? So I am here for you guys. Just be very patient with me because I'm always so freaking busy. But Aquarius, you guys got this. I love you. Take care.